So what is diligence, Colin? What is diligence defined as? So according to the handy dandy Google, diligence is defined as careful and persistent work or effort. Careful and persistent work or effort. So you can tell, if you look at the first word, careful, right? We're gonna break this down. The first word, careful. Careful meaning knowing where you're going, right? You're, 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 you've analyzed it, you've thought about it. Also known as prudence, right? So you can see how these intertwine. But careful and persistent work or effort. So I'm really gonna hone in on the second part there. Persistent work or effort. So diligence, staying busy. Persistent in the work or the effort of your dreams and your ambitions. I'm gonna give you an example of diligence, persistent work or effort. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, I played college football at the University of Kansas for four years, right? And it wasn't until the last year, the last season of my four years, so the, my fourth season at KU, the last four games that I got to play. That's how long it took. Four years until the fourth to last game. I'm not saying this for every day, but I'm saying this for the majority of my days before I got the opportunity to play for those four years, I was diligent, persistent work or effort. Every day, going to the gym. Every day, going to the workouts. Every day, going to the runs. Every day, drinking the shakes. Every day, persistent work, persistent effort. I might have never had the opportunity to snap in a Division I college football game. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to play. Right, those last four games, that was probably highlights of my life, the last four games. But I was diligent in chasing those dreams. Even before I got to college, before I got to the University of Kansas, when I was in high school, every day I would snap. Every day I would go to the gym. Every day I'd get to work. Every day I would do something. Persistent work, persistent effort, diligence. That's the second facet of conscientiousness. You must be diligent. What are you trying to do in life? That's what you have to answer. What do you want to do in life? Me, I want to talk about motivation and money. To help other people, I want to teach other people. Diligence, this podcast. Diligence, my YouTube channel. What are you doing? What work, persistent work, do you need to do or are you doing to chase your dreams? Because I can promise you, and I don't like to make promises, I tell this a lot, but I can promise you this. If there is one person out there, then we'll just say 99.9999999 to the thousand nines percent of people are not overnight successes. They have to be diligent. They have to be diligent in their work. They have to be diligent in the things that they do to get to where they want to go. Persistency, persistency, persistency. Every day, do something, do something. It doesn't matter if it's something very small, but do something to take a step forward to chasing your dreams every day. Some days you're gonna have a lot bigger things you're gonna do and other days it might be just making a tweet or posting a video or posting a 10 second clip of you saying something or writing one line of code, whatever it is. But every day you should do something, you should be diligent because like investing and like in life, compound interest, it pays off. So you do a little bit today, you do 1% better every day, you're gonna have a lot more than if you didn't do that 1% better every day, if you only did it every couple days or once a week, every day. I mean, I keep saying it because it's so true. Like you have to do the things that are necessary to do to reach where you wanna go. You must be diligent. That's, That's the basis, that's the title of this episode, diligence. You have to be diligent. You have to put in that persistent work. I don't wanna keep beating a dead horse, but I just wanna keep it and get it ingrained in your minds that you have to be persistent. It's not just gonna come because one day you put out a video or one day you, you open up your business or one day you open up your shop or one day you go to that meeting or one day you make that one deadline. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna make you the success that you wanna be. It's not gonna get you to where you wanna go. You have to do it day in and day out. Every day, you have to be persistent. Every day, you have to be diligent, right? And you couple that, like the definition says, you couple that with careful, also known as prudence, So when you're prudent, right, we're gonna connect the two of them and connect them at the end, right, when I talk about all five, but when you connect prudence with diligence, you're working, you're doing the work every single day, and when you're prudent, you know, right, when you're doing that work, you know that, ooh, I I come to this T in the road, I gotta go right, I'm gonna go right. And every day you do that work, you are persistent, you are persistent, you are consistent, you're diligent, 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 diligent. You keep putting the time in, you keep putting the work in. And over time, now, the kicker is, 
when I reach where I want to be and where you reach where you want to be and where your friend reaches where they want to be and your husband or your spouse or your wife reaches where they want to be, it's going to be all different for everybody. And some people never even take that step. You listening to this podcast is already you taking that step or at least you're thinking about taking that step. Many people don't even take that step in life. The kicker is everybody's time frame is different. You and your neighbor, you and your brother, you and your sister, you and your spouse, you and your friend, all of them, all of you could start at the same time chasing the exact same dream and everyone's gonna get there at different times because life has this crazy thing where it works out at just at the right time. The right time is the time it happens. That's when it was the right time. So in that time, in that time of waiting, in that time of not sure, uncertainty of I'm trying to chase my dreams, I wanna get to where I wanna go, be diligent, go to work. Because let me tell you this, I don't know about you, but for me, if I am not diligent, if I am not persistent in trying to chase where I wanna go, and I don't reach it, I'm still happy. I'm still grateful. Because I put in the time, I put in the work, and guess what? It didn't come to fruition. But I did what I could do, I controlled what I can control, and I, and it didn't work out, but now I know. But if I don't, here's the thing, if I don't, If I don't put in that work, if I'm not persistent, if I'm not consistent, if I'm not diligent and I don't reach it, then that's what you call regret. The what ifs. Well, what if I was diligent? What if I was persistent? What if I did the work? Would I have reached it? But if you do, if you put in that work, if you are persistent, if you are consistent, if you are diligent and it doesn't work out, at least you know. It also could work out. You could also get to where you want to go. And you will be thankful that you even put in the work. So whether it works out or whether it doesn't, who cares? I don't care, right? If this podcast never gets past 500 listeners per episode, right? That is awesome. I'm grateful for all of them. But if it doesn't ever grow into a bigger podcast, I am grateful because I'm putting the work now and and I'm touching people's lives now. And I don't care about where this podcast will go. I am diligent in my work that I'm doing right now. I'm diligent, consistent, and persistent on the work I'm doing right now with this podcast. I don't care if that ends up taking the podcast to the number one in the world, or if it stays where exactly where it is, or even if it falls off to one listener. I don't care. I'm grateful for every single one of my listeners, but in that time, I'm going to be persistent in my work through this podcast. I'm going to continue to touch people's lives and put my heart into every single one of these episodes. I want the best for you, and in turn, it helps me. But the reason I said that is because... That's what I'm trying to chase. I'm trying to do something with my life. But in the time of reaching where I want to be, be a motivational speaker, touching people's lives, teaching them about motivation and money, I'm also going to be hard at work while I'm waiting, right? Some people, you talk to them about their dreams, their ambitions. They tell you all these great things. I want to have all these nice cars, own a business. But what are they doing today? What are they doing today to reach there, right? Are they staying at home and playing video games all day or going out every weekend or every night? Or are they, hey, I'm gonna play video games on Saturdays and Sundays and then the rest of the week I'm going to work. What, what are their actions, right? Actions speak louder than words. Are they diligent? Are you diligent to where you wanna be in life? Or are you just hoping, wishing, dreaming for something to happen? Or are you diligent and you're consistent and you're persistent and you put in the work to get to where you wanna go? 